So, did you see anything brand new? Mm, not so much. Yeah, but is SolidWorks 2021 the best release yet? It could be. Yeah, all right, let's talk about that. So we just finished watching the SolidWorks live stream introducing what's new in SolidWorks 2021. And let's recap what we saw. Todd, what did you see? I saw a lot of stuff that's going to help people with the things they do every day, day in, day out. And I think that's why we're, we're saying it could be one of the best releases in a long, long time because yep. they listened to what people needed. Yep. I would go as so far to say as it definitely is the best release yet because there's two areas there, performance and stability. And to our users and the, to the community out there, those are the significant improvements. They've been using this tool for decades already, right? I know people who've been using it for over 20 years, mm -hmm. right? And now to see a tool that is so dedicated to improving performance, it, it's pretty great to see. So let's just dive right in there. The first thing that we saw was the SolidWorks R&D team introducing the things that they've been working on, and it amounts to significant improvements in performance. Yeah, and again, they, they basically listened to what people were asking for. They said, you know, people have said, uh, users have said, just, you know, spend more time on quality and performance. And the way they described it is they've spent basically almost 50, almost 60% of their focus this year on those areas, okay? And so you're going to see um, less bugs out of the gate, and then, you know, they're continuing that trend and just putting more focus on fixing those higher priority bugs and getting that stuff, yep. you know, ironed out and working smoother and better for everybody. Yeah, uh, they identified a 25% SPR close rate. What does that mean? That's the highest number of bugs or problems that were identified in the past year that they've ever seen. So we're going to mm -hmm. see a tremendous stability improvement there. And they also introduced performance improvements that have been three years in the making, right? SolidWorks 2019 introduced graphics performance boost. So a mm -hmm. system option that was first in beta for a lot of people. Then last year, 2020, it was in there as a system option, but you had to know about it and you had to turn it on. Now this year, out of the box. So these out of the box performance improvements have been extended to include the graphics performance boost. So you're going to see by just installing SolidWorks 2021, a significant yeah. import, uh, improvement in performance with your models. Yeah, it looks to be like a great uh, improvement in frame rates and it's taking full advantage of your GPU now. Uh, so again, it's one of those things you're just gonna see when you when you open up your assemblies, you're gonna just feel smoother and, 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 and faster. Yeah, it's gonna be snappy. It's just gonna be a snappy interface. What we saw that today, 2400 part assembly, they were just zipping that thing around, opening it. Oh man, I can't wait to get my hands on that. And it scales too, right? They mentioned the fact that it scales so long as you have a certified graphics card yeah. and a certified driver to go along with it, supporting OpenGL 4.5, you're gonna be able to see this performance improvement, whether you have an entry level GPU or a top tier GPU, you're gonna see performance improvements scale based on your hardware. So right. that's, that's huge right there. You know, taking full advantage of your GPU out of the box, you're going to notice these performance improvements. So let's move on and talk uh, about the user experience and how SolidWorks 2021 yeah. has some improvements here to the usability of it. What do you see here? Yeah, for me, the one that stood out, it kind of sounds maybe like a, a small thing, but um, it's just sort of enhancing that experience. And it was the ability to collapse the command manager. Because for me, the way I look at it is it's the best of both worlds here of being able to, um, the, the way I used to kind of want to do it is I would want to eliminate the text from my icon strip there for the command manager. So so I wanted to, but I liked the text because there were so many icons there, you know, I wanted to, to see which one, you know, the names. Yeah. But now basically you can collapse it, the tabs are still there, you click on the tabs and you get the text. Um, like you like I want, but then they go away, you know, because they're collapsed when you're when you're um, off of that that strip. Yeah. So I like it. I think that's really good. It's 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 going to clear out more space most of the time. Yeah, and and I think really like when you think about it, you can collapse the command manager. That does sound yeah. small. However, 
the meaning and the implication that that has is huge because now it goes towards the usability of the tool. It simplifies yeah. the interface. And to me, there's an elegance in the simplicity mm -hmm. of an interface. You don't have clutter. You get your entire graphics area. You can focus on your design and not the interface. And, and to me, that's, that's significant there. Um, and then to, to that end, they've also extended some of the other workflows that you probably should be using, but you might right. not be, right? So what we saw here was a big push towards nudging the user base to use the S key to model quicker, right? The S key is the shortcut bar uh, yeah. with a couple of commands on it, fully customizable, but now it's even easier to customize it. What'd you see there? Yeah, real simply, you can search for commands that you wanna add to the S key or other toolbars that you've got while you're in that customized interface. So definitely a sort of a, a an ease of use kind of nudge in that direction to make it make it more uh, uh, likely that you're going to do that. And you should definitely check it out and make that, you know, the S key is great out of the box, but if you can work it to your, you know, your own particular flow, then it's going to even be, be even better. Yeah, exactly. Um, so then extending the capabilities beyond just the interface to the user experience for part modeling. I saw two things that are worth noting. Number one is pretty small, and number two is huge. I mean, number one, the color picker. <laughs> <laughs> kind of cute, yeah. right? But that's useful for a lot of people. Yeah. I mean, I know tons of people that your model's not finished unless it looks like how it's gonna really look. So right. appearances are pretty important there. And a lot of people have tools out there to find that right color. Now the tools integrated directly into the yeah. appearances. People are going to use that. It's much more usable now. And then Absolutely. the biggest one, custom properties. Right. I mean, that's your favorite, so I'll let you talk about it. Yeah, I mean, I think it's, I, so basically you can now put equations, you can use equations in custom properties, okay? And for some people, right, just when I say that, they're going to say, oh my gosh, yes, I've wanted to do that, but, um, I, I know I've helped tons of people over the years, like kind of work around that with global variables and, and things like that. But, um, but now it's out of the box. And so you can do equations in those custom properties and it's going to be super helpful, you know, getting into those, um, you know, put little calculations in if you want and that sort of thing. So I, I'm, I'm pretty excited about that one and, and what it's going to open up for people. Yeah. I mean, I, I I've recognized a theme here. You know, we started this by saying no brand new features, right? right? And I've noticed a theme here and it is nudging people towards the best workflows, making it easier to use some of these tools that yep. typically only power users use. So now everybody is using these tools to help them model faster and focus on their designs, just helping them really make that possible. And then the next thing is really enabling the users to work how they want. Right. Yeah. So the color picker and equations and custom properties are two great examples of that. We're already needing to type in an RGB value We're already using another tool, maybe an Adobe tool or an application mm -hmm. installed on the computer to find out the RGB value of a color swatch, right. Or of a picture on the website, right. Yep. Enabling you to work how you want there with the color picker. And then really with custom properties, it's really showing the commitment that SolidWorks has to its user base. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, then <laughs> the biggest one to me is the next one. It's the coolest one. It's the biggest performance improvement to assemblies. It is extending the lightweight functionality. So lightweight's been there for a long time. It doesn't load all the model data. What that means is the model is lightweight, hence yep. the name, right? But what it means is it makes it much more usable. And because it's not as heavy, of a model in terms of data loaded, you can notice a lot of performance improvements, but now you're removing some of the steps to make it usable now by on-demand dynamically loading models into the fully resolved state so that you can make edits to it on-demand, transparent to the user. That's an incredible step in the right direction towards making it more usable and better performance. Yeah, now I would, I would say what, what would be something that would be on par with making a a model that's an assembly you know open up in lightweight and be easier to use would be to have it have a lightweight version right and so now you get that with this if I'm going to move on to the next one called d feature okay 
We've had the feature before, but now you can create a configuration out of that D feature model, okay, and use it internally. So now, uh, as opposed to just sending it out as an external file or having it as another file on your system, you can make it a configuration. So I think that one goes kind of hand in hand with lightweight mode because it's all about that you know performance and stuff. So yeah, um, it goes with the theme. It's the theme, right? Performance. Yeah. I mean, it is yeah. so. It, it's such an incredible strive and yeah. improvement in performance that it makes SolidWorks 2021 uh, a can't miss version just because of that. You yeah. know, a lot of people always ask, oh, well, what's new? You know, why would I upgrade? Oh, there's this great new sheet metal feature or this great new weldment feature. But what if you're not doing weldments? What if you're not doing sheet metal? What if you're yeah. doing surfacing, mold design? What if you're doing this or that or that? This is one release that is applicable to everybody because of the stability and the theme of performance improvements. Those two things, everyone, every single user wants. And they, they well, answered those calls. Yeah, those areas we've talked about so far, pretty much everybody does, especially with assemblies. We have a lot of people talk about their assembly performance and they, they want, yep. you know, how do, how do I make that better? So they've got tools for that that are, that are better and better now. Okay, the yeah, other thing that everybody just, does. That's just part of it, right? Yep. Yeah, <laughs> let's get, the let's other get thing that everybody it. pretty much does is make a drawing. All right, yep. talk about that. Oh my goodness. The, so last year we saw the introduction of detailing mode, which is essentially large design review or large assembly mode for uh, drawing, right? So yeah. there's two aspects of the, you do the modeling work and then you do an assembly and a drawing, right? Those two aspects of it. We saw some incredible improvements to drawings by the addition of this brand new mode last year called detailing mode, mm -hmm. which is essentially just taking all of the bulk or the weight of the model out of the drawing and just putting lines on the paper. And it's not just lines, you can actually, you know, you can add dimensions to it. You can move things around. You can add views uh, like detail views or crop views or broken out views of those drawing views that you added to your drawing already. It's an incredible improvement. Yeah, basically, if you've got drawings that take a long time to open or move around or spin around um, or slide around, you know, trans translate and everything, uh, check out detailing mode. It's going to be a huge improvement for you. Uh, one other big key to that is you don't have to have the reference files, the assemblies and the part files along with that. You can do all of that just by working off of the, um, you know, like if you want to send it to someone to, to edit or something, the, the drawing file itself in, in detailing mode. So that's huge. Yep. Um, and basically Absolutely. there's, you know, more and more things that you can do this year in detailing mode. So they've, you know, at the, the list of that, the, the, that list is getting much longer as far as what you can do. And then the, the limitations of things that you can't do is getting shorter and shorter. So I would yeah. definitely say check that out. For me, that would probably be, unless you're, you know, a simple drawing, um, a part drawing or something, um, detailing mode would be the default way to, to work in an assembly drawing. Yeah. I mean, it's like, I like to think about it as, you know, a lot of people's cars nowadays has, you know, regular mode and sport mode, right? <laughs> you know, your, your SolidWorks now can be, pretty much always in sport mode, high performance, quick, responsive, you know, you're going fast, high performance modeling in SolidWorks 2021 should be on by default here with the graphics performance boost in the system options, lightweight on demand with assemblies, and then now here with detailing mode and drawings. I mean, that's really weaving in the theme of performance to this release of SolidWorks 2021. And, you know, we're, we're really just scratching the surface here. There's a lot more features and functionality and more examples of how SOLIDWORKS 2021 really improves performance and stability. Uh, where can we go to give our users more information here? Yeah, I mean, so we've got a, a really cool lineup for October. So go to our website and check that out because we're going to have basically a month of, of webinars again that goes into fine detail on all the enhancement on all the areas we'll even get into the the simulation side the pdm side all some you know other products cam electrical um 3d experience uh be Can't sure to check that. those out That's a yeah, exactly. one, yeah. yeah yeah so um yeah we've all month for october we've got like basically two webinars a day we'll even go back and um you know last year we started this and had what we call throwback thursday hugely popular where we talk about 
the best enhancements from years past. So we're real excited about that, doing that again this year. I think it's going to be great. Check it out and, um, you know, let yeah. us know what you think about that for sure. Yeah, definitely check that out. I mean, after looking at all of this stuff in detail, exploring all of the functionality that SolidWorks 2021 brings to the table, I guarantee you people are going to agree that this is the most significant release of SolidWorks yet. I think so too, man. All right. Well, can't wait for them to check it out and check out the webinars and get their hands on SolidWorks 2021.